diary. This is it. I have ended my miserable life. I couldn't take this shit anymore. Being trapped in a wheelchair for the rest of my damn life is just not worth it. The surgeons told me everything would be okay. They gave me hope. Only to crush it under the soles of their feet and watch me destroy myself. They lied to me! They didn't know what it felt like! I thought I could handle my emotions. Control them. Contain them. Prove them all wrong. But I was just too weak. I let it slip through my fingers. Out of my grip. It poisoned me. It clouded my mind. They didn't know anything. They only feel the cold touch of their knives. They gave me antidepressants. It helped me think clearly. To see things through. I took a couple of extra pills this afternoon. They showed me what I had to do in this short moment of clarity. They showed me that there was no one and nothing worth living for! They showed me how fake Sophie and my doctor were. How they were laughing at me behind their masks when I wasn't looking. Laughing at me, my legs, thinking that they are so good, that they're better than me, pretending that they care about me. It's all bullshit! The pills showed me the truth today. They always did. They opened my eyes. They gave me wisdom. And I acted upon it. So, I had to kill Sophie and my doctor. <laughs> my mentor. My counselor. <laughs> I had to take them down with me. They're not laughing anymore. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could have taken everybody with me. But unfortunately, my situation makes that impossible. To whoever is reading this, I hope my dead body will haunt you forever. Have fun scraping my brains off the wall. Fuck you! is reading this. I'm hopefully dead. I just couldn't live this life anymore. My paralyzed legs made me worthless and I felt like an outsider ever since the accident. Anxiety and depression controlled my life and there was no way out of this bottomless pit. My friends looked right past me. My family abandoned me. Nobody wants a cripple. Especially one that would need your help. Fucking worthless. The only person that ever tried to help me was my doctor he tried a lot he is the only reason this book exists writing it has helped me put things into perspective I think but in the end it hasn't really changed anything for me I still felt like shit I was still all alone in solitude 
Or now, if you're reading this, I'm sorry. There were no choices left. I made up my mind. Not everyone can be saved. I had to end my life. And I had to take my special person with me. Sophie. I wanted to keep her with me. I wanted to keep her all for myself. I hope her body is rotting away when you find her. This is my conclusion. This is my end. Farewell, everyone. time you are reading this, you will find my dead body covered in blood, with my head blown to bits. I know you might think I'm not, or wasn't, normal. I was crippled, stuck in a wheelchair, and that's why I had to die. I was broken, defect, full of emotional problems. My mind was stuck in a never-ending loop of anxiety, depression, and despair. A roller coaster with no end, and I wanted out so bad! This book writing tip was fucking bullshit. It only made me realize how truly fucked my life was. Ironic. <laughs> how that one person who was actually paid to help me only made it worse gave me that one last push, which was needed for me to end myself. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> it's almost poetic. The only person who tried to help me was my only friend, Sophie. Please, tell her I'm sorry. I wish her all the best. Please don't show her this mess. This is my conclusion. This is my end. Farewell, everyone. stopped myself from doing it, from committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive, it also left two police officers dead. I killed them. Shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis, which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital, where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book, and uh, it has helped me. A lot. I wrote a happy ending, just for myself. I feel better now, I am more at peace with myself, even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair, but uh, I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers though, but I have so many supportive people around me now, so I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I'm lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. When the doctors let her, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. 
She just, she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend. One who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though I'll miss the good moments we've had. Knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end. You're gonna regret this big time! Come back here! Come back! Entering the mind of Simon was not an easy undertaking to start with. Wading through the arcane creations that his book has summoned was a nightmare I will never be able to grasp. But I made it. I managed to destroy his creations in their passage. The book. Waging battle against the dreadful demons of Simon's book was, without a doubt, one of the most horrifying experiences we ever encountered. But somehow, we survived it by working together. We managed to stop Simon by cutting off a chain of events that would have led to a sorrowful destiny.